Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Dr. Trish Sacconi at Central Kentucky Optometric Associates with offices in Lebanon and Springfield for a regular eye care news segment here on Central Kentucky Television. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to talk about eye drops. Mm -hmm. I had some people asking mm -hmm. about is it safe to just start using eye drops that they get from over the counter or should they mm -hmm. actually come see you mm -hmm. beforehand mm -hmm. and then kind of before they start using them? Well, um, that's a good question. It's kind of a loaded question. Um, you know, you always want to know what you're treating and um, what, you're, what you're using medication for. Um, that being said, over-the-counter medications are generally meant to be so that they're easy accessible and maybe might solve a problem um, without the expense of both time and money um, visiting the doctor. So, excuse me, kind of that, the answer to that question is yes and no, <laughs> okay? Um, there's many, many, many different types of eye drops and eye care products over the counter. And so you have to kind of cipher through um, what can solve a minimal problem and, and, and what particular eye drop is going to solve the problem that you're having. Um, um, the probably the, the number one um, over-the-counter drop that eye, eye care providers probably would tell you to stay away from are the ones that um, get the red out. Um, if your eyes are red, there's a reason that they're red. And if you chronically use a drop that gets the red out, um, basically, basically those are vasoconstrictors that do that and they cause an initial constriction of the blood vessels that does get the red out. But then down the road you'll have a reflex dilation of the blood vessels and you can actually develop a chronically red eye from overusing those drops. So that's one that we really just don't really think it really gives you much functional improvement. It might give you a short term visual improvement of your condition but it really doesn't solve the underlying problem. So avoid the get, get the red out drops. Um, if your eyes are a little bit dry um, you might like to try an over-the-counter teardrop but it gets kind of mushy there because there are teardrops that are based what we call lipophilic um, dry eye drops or tears and there are aqueous based dry eye tears can you tell without visiting the doctor whether you need the lipid based tears or the aqueous based tears? Um, is your dry eye more meibomian gland originated or is it more lacrimal and autoimmune originated? And I don't think that you can really tell that um, without visiting the doctor. Um, mm -hmm. So those, probably not. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, allergy drops. Um, if your eyes are a little bit itchy and watery and it's allergy season and you have other allergy symptoms and you just want something to help you get, um, 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 get you know, relieve you symptomatically um, that way, you can, but there's a lot to sift through. Uh, the um, antihistamines will give you immediate relief, but they don't give you long-term prevention. The mast cell stabilizers are a combination and they give you antihistamine relief and long term, a little more long term um, uh, relief and stabilization of your allergy. And so those are generally a little better than just the plain antihistamines. Um, things like um, ketodafin, that, things that have ketodafin in them. Um, um, Zatador is one name brand. I'm not, I don't really. I, I, I'm not supposed to really endorse any name brand here, but that's one that comes to mind. That probably is, is one of the better over-the-counter drops. Bausch & Loam, Alloway, um, anything that's got ketodafin or a mast cell stabilizer and has dual action antihistamine relief will give you a more um, benefit than just a straight antihistamine and actually will help stabilize those mast cells, which are the cells in your conjunctiva inside your eyelids that um, you know when you kind of itch your eye because it's a little bit itchy and then you rub it and then it gets a lot itchy and you just want to rub it and rub it and rub it that's those mast cells rupturing and releasing all that histamine and heparin so you can huh. get you'll get less of that um, problem um, if you use um, a mast cell stabilizer 
So in any of these medications or any of these over-the-counter drops, if you're using them and, you know, I would give you a, um, a week or so on them and if you don't notice an improvement or if your condition doesn't improve or if it worsens, you know, don't keep using them. Come on in and, and, and let's check it out. And, and you always, you know, you really want to know what you're treating before you start treating it and that would, you know, help you there. So. Um, if there's any question at all as to, you know, what you're treating, then, um, then get on in here. And if you're a contact lens wearer and you're pouring those rewetting drops in and, and you're still having issues with your contacts, you know, come on in and let us check it out. There's probably something going on. You know, you shouldn't have to continually use rewetting drops. And, you know, in, in my office here, I don't prescribe rewetting drops for my contact patients because if they have to use rewetting drops, then we got to change something about their contacts. <laughs> so that's kind of my mantra there is uh -huh. if, if your contacts are you're pouring rewetting drops in and you're wearing contacts, then come on in and, and let us find out why and, and, and get you in a contact that you don't have to do that with. Mm -hmm. And as with most anything, it's better to have a base to know where you're starting mm -hmm. from. So mm -hmm. coming in if you're before you start using something, so it's always a smart idea. It's a smart idea. And if you have the time and, and, and can do that, you know, and want to really know what you're treating. And sometimes we will use over-the-counter products, but it's always better to know, um, you know, exactly what you're, what you're using and what you're using it for. Yes, let the doctor prescribe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been talking with Dr. Trish Ciccone mm -hmm. at Central Kentucky Optometric Associates. They have offices in both Lebanon and Springfield. And this has been Gary White for Central Kentucky Television.